I'd love to read this one verse to you from Psalm 52. It says, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. And I will praise you forever. Amen. Amen. Shall we stand to our feet and just rejoice in the Lord together.
in our lives, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, we want to thank you that we lift our eyes unto the hills. Oh, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who is the maker of heaven and earth. You are a powerful God, Lord. By your word, the world was created. For God said, and it was done. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And we just want to continue to worship you, Lord, and believe you in God. Deeper than the sea. 
just continue to worship you this evening. And may you be exalted in this place. Oh, may you be exalted in this place. In Jesus' name we pray.
का जर्मा बत्तीस की ओर चलते हैं जर्मा चैप्टर थर्टी टू वर्ष में सेवेंटीन said unto him i am gabriel that stands in the presence of god and i am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings and behold thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed because thou hast not believed on my words which shall be fulfilled in their season verse 34 Then Mary said unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold thy cousin Elizabeth, She had also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Maybe we can read this verse loudly together, and we can say this: For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel. Parted from her. Father, thank you. Thank you. You are our Father. Jeremiah said, "You are the God of all flesh and of heaven and earth." That means everything. Jeremiah said, "Heaven, with earth, but we should not stop this." स्वर्ग धरती और सारी और आपके लिए कोई भी चीज असंभव नहीं है आप वो परमेश्वर स्वर्ग और धरती पर हम धरती पर हैं और सारे शरीर का परमेश्वर है कोई भी चीज उसके लिए असंभव नहीं कोई भी चीज उसके लिए असंभव नहीं कोई भी चीज परमेश्वर के लिए असंभव नहीं है क्या हम विश्वास करते हैं उसे I really believe that. क्या मैं उसमें सच पर भरोसा करता हूँ We can have an atmosphere. एक एटमोस्फेयर यहाँ पर हो सकता है Absolute faith. पूरे विश्वास का यहाँ पर Absolute trust. पूरा भरोसा Absolute reliance. पूरा तो Absolute निर्भरता Dependence. पूरी सत्ता Absolute certainty. जानते हुए Absolute. पूरी तरह से Our prayers send up to. हमारी प्रार्थना ऊपर जाती है थैंक यू धन्यवाद देते हैं तुझे थैंक यू तुझे धन्यवाद देते हैं टू प्रे फॉर अमेजिंग हीलिंग्स आज अद्भुत चंगाइयों के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं डिलीवरेंस छुटकारे के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं थैंक यू तुझे धन्यवाद देते हैं प्रभु वी थैंक यू बिकॉज़ वी नो दे विल हैपन हम जानते हैं इसे तुझे धन्यवाद देते हैं कि आज ये होगा We do not doubt. हम शंका बिल्कुल नहीं करते. To doubt means to stand in two places. शंका करना यानी कि दो स्थानों में खड़े हुए हैं. I want to be in the place of God. हम परमेश्वर की जगह पर रहना चाहते हैं. Thank you. धन्यवाद परमेश्वर. Zacharias would not speak. Zacharias बोल न सका. But Mary would magnify the Lord. लेकिन मरियम ने परमेश्वर की महिमा की. She would magnify. उसने बड़ा बनाया परमेश्वर. She would sing praise. वो गीत गाती रही. उसने भरोसा उसको पता नहीं था कैसे लेकिन उसको जानती थी कि होगा। को पता नहीं था और उसने सोचा कि नहीं होगा लेकिन मैरी 
जानती थी कि होगा बट शी डेट ना हा लेकिन पता नहीं था कैसे आज तुझ पर भरोसा करते हैं परमेश्वर अपने हाथों उठाओ आज थैंक यू धन्यवाद परमेश्वर This does not have to be what we think should be a normal service. ये साधारण सर्विस ना रहे परमेश्वर। Thank you. मुझे धन्यवाद देते हैं। We expect from you. आज उम्मीद है तुझसे। We want the leading of the person of the spirit. अब इधर आत्मा की अगवाई हो हमारे लिए आज यहाँ। Thank you. धन्यवाद परमेश्वर। Thank you. धन्यवाद हो। You saved us. तूने हमें बचाया। We have access to God. आज तेरे पास हम खुली द्वार की तरह आ सकते हैं। when you saw the men lowering the paralyzed man jab tune dekha ki us gori ko us paralyzed wale aadmi ko niche la rahe the you said you saw their faith tune usme likha hai ki tune unka vishwas dekha not his faith uska vishwas nahi their faith unka vishwas dekha uske doston ka vishwas dekha see our faith aaj hamara vishwas dekh see our faith we are sinners and weak um कमजोर है पाप। But it's the faith of the Son of God. लेकिन परमेश्वर के पुत्र का विश्वास है। See our faith tonight. आज हमारा विश्वास देख परमेश्वर। We cry out to you. आज तुझे पुकार रहे हैं। We cry to you, God. आज पुकारते हैं तुझे परमेश्वर। Hear our prayers. हमारी प्रार्थनाएं सुन। Nothing. कोई भी चीज़ too difficult. तेरे लिए संभव नहीं। Raise the dead. मरवों को जिंदा करता। Cleanse lepers. गोड़ियों को चंगा करता। Heal the blind. अंधों को आंखें देता। The lame would walk. लंगड़े चलते हैं। Death would hear. Hear is listen. This is Jesus. Ye Yeshu hai. He's our Jesus. Ye hamara Yeshu. He's my Jesus. Ye mera Yeshu. He's your Jesus. Ye tumhara Yeshu hai. The power of the Samat of the Lord is to heal tonight. Yaha par hai Parmeshwar ko upasthit hone changai dene ke liye. Thank you, Parmeshwar. Thank you. धन्यवाद हो परमेश्वर तेरा। We are frail, हम कमजोर हैं। We stand sometimes in doubt, कभी-कभी हम शंका में खड़े रहते हैं। Help our unbelief, हमारे अविश्वास को मदद कर। Man came, he said, I believe, और बात नहीं है उसने कहा मैं भरोसा करता हूँ। You help my unbelief, तू मेरी अविश्वास को मदद कर। We can be believers with unbelief, हम अविश्वासी हैं लेकिन अविश्वास में जी सकते हैं। Cry, help us, और हम चिल्लाते हैं हमारी मदद कर। हमारे अविश्वास को मदद कर। The miraculous, चमत्कारी है तेरी। Before our very eyes, हमारी आँखों के सामने कर। They said in Mark two we never saw it on this fashion. Mark उस दो में लिखा हमने इस तरह का कभी नहीं देखा है। ऐसी तरीके से हमने कभी नहीं देखा है। Thank you. धन्यवाद परमेश्वर। Thank you God. धन्यवाद वो परमेश्वर। Bless these words. इन वचनों को आशीष कर प्रभु। May our minds be captured by faith. हमारे मनो विश्वास से पकड़ लिए जगड़ लिए हैं। हम विश्वास के बंदी बन जाएं। आज जैसे बंद जाएं हम विश्वास के साथ। धन्यवाद परमेश्वर। यीशु के नाम से। आप बैठ सकते हैं। God is for us. Amen. मतलब ये है कहने का कि लेकिन परमेश्वर हमारी ओर है। Are you with me? तेरे संग हो? Are you with me? Yes. Jesus came as we heard of Pastor Melvin. ये शुआया जैसे हमने सुना Pastor Melvin से। They said, He whom you love is sick. वो जिससे तू प्रेम करता है वो बीमार है। Jesus loved Lazarus. ये शुने Lazarus से प्रेम करता है। and he delayed for a period of time. और इंतजार किया उसने कुछ समय। Before coming. आने से पहले। In other words, कुछ अलग शब्दों में। He wanted the sick man to die. वो चाहता था कि वो बीमार हो जाए ताकि वो उसे मारे में से जीवित आए। And I think it's amazing. ये आप बुद्ध है सोचने के लिए। Both of them said the same thing. दोनों ने वो ही बात कही। Mary and Martha. मारियम और मार्था ने। If you had been here. अगर तू जल्दी आया होता, तो हमारा भाई मरा ना होता। They were geographical believers. वो स्थानीय विश्वास। Geographical faith. उनका उस स्थान के लिए विश्वास। अगर तू यहाँ होता, this wouldn't have happened. तो ये ना होता। Not only were they geographical believers, वो उस तरह के स्थानीय विश्वासी हैं। They had geographical faith. उनका उसी जगह के लिए विश्वास। They also had a theological faith. 
When Jesus said, your brother shall rise again, she said, I know he'll rise on the last day. She knew her Jewish theology. Many people live with geographical faith and theological faith. But there's something far more powerful than that. Are you with me? Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? That's the question he asked. You know, Mary had an interesting answer. He said, do you believe I am the resurrection and the life? Her answer was, I believe you are the Son of God. It seems like she was still operating theologically. She's trying to say something to her right now. Right now, you can experience life. Your brother will experience life. Right now. You know, there's the Hebrews 11 1, now is of faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. I believe in healing. Are you with me? Oh, I didn't hear you. Huh? Huh? It's not, a, it's not one of those uh, religious amens, is it? I believe. I pray for this man every day. You know why? I know he's going to be healed. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it might. I know it. I know it. I know it. I don't know when. I don't know. I don't have to know how because God knows what. And uh, by the way, just being with him, I get healed. When I see someone as determined as this man is, I'm thinking, wow. I got a wow. Could I ever do that? I wonder. Sometimes. So I live. Just being around Pastor Carl, my faith is elevated to new extents. Are you with me? Hello? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Jesus was right there. Yes. You know, many people, they, they have such a, I wrote some words down here. I don't know what I put it on. They live by sight. They have natural thinking. They are temple people. Temple. They live by human reason. They have doubts. They live in their emotions. And they want to know the facts. Sight, natural, temporal, reason, doubt, emotions, facts. facts. It's the kind of believers we have today. And God confounds all of it. He just confounds it all. It's amazing, and we've taught this before. Why would Jesus do five miracles on the Galilean lake? He hit them right at home where they are. Luke chapter 5, miraculous catch. Matthew chapter 8 stills the storm. Matthew 14, he walks on water. Imagine that. John Lennon tried it and almost drowned. Well, there's an actual video of that. The one who was the, with the Beatles. Somebody gunned him down and killed him. He tried, he had a big, big, he had the cameras, he had everything there. He had a big audience. And he stepped off the pool and went right down. Sorry. You're not Jesus. Jesus. And you're not Peter either, because Peter you're neither. Then a coin out of a fish's mouth. 
And then a miraculous catch in John 21. This was to take men. He said it, he said it, I think, four times. You have little faith. And he does it, it's not the way the Greek language reads. This is what it says. Matthew 6, Matthew 8, Matthew 14, and Matthew 16. It says, O oh, ye of little faith. And many people read that incorrectly. As if it's a, like a rebuke. And maybe it is in one fashion. This is what he actually says. Oh, oh, how little faith you have in me. Oh, it's like a, a, a cry from the heart. Oh, how little faith you have in me. You've been with me. You've seen lepers cleansed. You've seen the dead raised. You've seen a, you've seen a multiplication of the loaves. You've seen a man with 6,000 demons with the You've seen a woman with an issue of blood or totally cleansed. You've seen Jairus' daughter raised from the dead. You've seen a woman at a well get converted and start becoming an evangelist. You've seen a man with 38-year infirmity be delivered instantaneously. Slip back into fact. Human thinking. Human thinking. It's incredible. We have such a propensity to go that way. And I think it breaks God's heart. Remember, the only two times that Jesus wept in the Bible. It all had to do with unbelief. When he wept in John 11.35, he wasn't weeping over Lazarus' death. He wept, he, 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 he was going to raise him from the dead. Why would he be weeping about that? He was weeping that no one believed. Even the disciples, by this time he stinks. It's the fourth day. He wept over their unbelief. In Luke 1941, he wept over Jerusalem. Jerusalem if you only believed who I am at the time of my coming. I preached the message many years ago called the sin that makes Jesus cry. The sin that makes Jesus cry is unbelief. He weeps. He doesn't get angry. He doesn't discipline like we would think. But he, his heart is broken. That people just do not believe. You, you believe in me. Believe in me. And he would face situation after situation. When people just did not believe in me. They saw so much. They heard so much. They experienced so much. How many of you believe God for salvation? <laughs> Some of you are afraid to put your hand up. You believe God for salvation, right? He who spirit not his only son, will he not with him freely give us all things? Isn't the, isn't the big thing salvation? I've been delivered from hell, darkness, uh, a destiny separated from God. Everything after that is easy. Everything after that is like incredibly easy. But that's what seems to trip everybody up. That's what seems to bring in all the confusion. And God is not the author of confusion. Hello? Huh? Is not the author of confusion. 
I simply believe God. Oh, I need to grow in that area. There's times I said to my son one time, how are you going to come with me to Ghana? तो खाना मेरे संग कैसे आएगा? For a month. एक महीने के बाद. Your job and all that. तेरा नौकरी है कैसे आएगा? He goes, Dad. उसी का पिता. All you ever talk about is faith. तू हमेशा विश्वास के बारे में बात करता है. You listen to your own messages. अभी अपना मैसेज कौन सुन? Oh, you know, you know, did you ever have your own words convict you? अभी ऐसा हुआ तुम्हारे शब्दों ने तुम्हें convict किया. You said. तुमने कहा. I thought, wow, this this is the young the young man is telling his father like. How to be led and how to have faith. <laughs> and my wife just stands there smiling. Isn't that something? But simply to believe. Because Jeremiah's word is true. Nothing is impossible. How that reads in the Hebrew is no word that God has spoken will come without power. और इब्राहिम इस तरह से लिखा है कोई ऐसा शब्द नहीं है जो परमेश्वर ने कहा है जो बिना सुन रहे हो some people can say you know in proclaiming something you're taking a risk I'm not taking I don't take any risks मैं कोई रिस्क नहीं ले रहा हूँ they're just risks faith it's just faith it's the faith is not परमेश्वर पर भरोसा है no so many people are so afraid कितने लोग डरते हैं to say something या इसी के लिए कुछ you know I mean as crazy as Peter was at least he came out of the boat पत्रस की धना भी पागल हो लेकिन नाव के भार उसे कदम रखा। But you know what? जानते हैं क्या? God says I just want you to trust me। परमेश्वर कहते हैं सिर्फ मुझ पर भरोसा कर। You can trust me। तू मुझ पर भरोसा कर। This is important in everything। ये जरूरी है हमारे लिए। You can trust your finances to me। तू तू अपने पैसों में भरोसा कर। You can trust your marriage to me। अपने शादी में मुझ पर भरोसा कर। You can trust your health to me। तेरी सेहत में मुझ पर भरोसा कर। You जानता I said it's the afternoon. I'm not we have a healing meeting. Praying that God's going to do all. So believe. He says there's nothing impossible for God. Can God heal you? Yes. Can God heal you? Can God heal you? Can God heal you? Absolutely. I remember thinking that I've had some interesting episodes. मैं याद आता है मुझे कुछ में मेरे साथ कुछ घटनाएं घटी हैं. And the man came and said, एक आदमी मेरे पास आया. If you will, अगर तू चाहे तो, could make my son whole. तो मेरे पुत्र को ठीक कर सकता है. Spurgeon said the if is in the wrong place. Spurgeon ने कहा कि वो जो अगर है वो गलत जगह पर है. If you can believe. अगर तू विश्वास कर सकता है, अगर तू विश्वास कर सकता है, so important, इतना जरूरी है। Sometimes we are so intricate in our thinking and so developed and so technologically advanced in our ways that simple faith isn't even in our minds. हम कितनी कितनी इतनी गहराइयों में कोई कोई चीज की घुस जाते हैं जहाँ पे होना नहीं चाहिए और इतने टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में सोचते हैं कि कभी कभी साधारण विश्वास को हम ध्यान नहीं देते। In 1980, I preached a message called Simple Faith. उन्नीस और परमेश्वर कहता है कि उनकी बुद्धि को मैं उठा कर दूँगा। They're so-called nonsense। उनका अफवाह जो है ये। Are you with me? समझे? A little farm boy comes out of Maine and we're sitting here because of that। और एक खेतीबाड़ी करने वाला छोटा लड़का वहाँ से निकला। No education, 
no education, no money, no respect from his brothers, shunned and actually assaulted verbally all the time. God raised up Pastor Stevens because he simply believed. And we are seeing believers produced. Believers, Vishwasi It's incredible. I want us to, you know, it's amazing what one person can do. There was a, a, an atmosphere of unbelief. In the valley of Elah. And Goliath was mocking the, the people of God. And he called them servants of Saul, not even servants of God. And he did that for 40 days. Coming out. Coming out. Do you ever have, the, do you ever have demons of the devil try to assault your mind? Hello? Ever happened? It happens. It hasn't happened, something's wrong. All of a sudden, this little 16 and a half year old steps up and says, Who is this uncircumcised? And he would mock the living God. But he turned the whole atmosphere around. And everybody started to believe. It's amazing. 276 people on a boat and everybody's ready to die. One man steps up. This little Jewish guy. He says, I believe God. He exactly has the truth. And he turned it all around. I want to be the voice of faith. I want to be the voice of faith when reason tries to answer him. I want to be the voice of faith when people live in doubt. I want to be the voice of faith when people are controlled by sight. I want to be the voice of faith when circumstances are overwhelming. I want to be the voice of faith when the majority says it can never work. I want to be the voice of faith in my marriage. I want to be the voice of faith in my church. I want to be the voice of faith on evangelism. I want to be the voice of faith in praying for people. <laughs> the voice of faith. The voice of faith. With God. Mary had the voice. She had the voice. With God. Nothing is impossible. Watch Zacharias. Nothing's coming out. What? Your mouth is going to be shut. Because you don't believe. Mary. The voice of faith. As we pray tonight, will we believe that God says nothing's impossible? Will we trust Him with a simple faith tonight? Will we look for God? Don't look at yourself. Don't be introspective. Look to Jesus, the author and finisher. Would you stand with me? And let's enter into an amazing attitude of just prayer. Talking, Talking to God. Don't look, at, don't look at people. Get your mind off of situations. Get your mind off of people. And look into the face of Jesus. Lift our hands. We can bring the musicians up. Just be slow with the music. <coughs> Look to God. I 
I has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has entered into the heart of man things that God has prepared for those who love him. We love you, Jesus. Well, we're growing in that love, but we love you. Help us. Help our unbelief. Help us to believe your word. By hearing. Help us to trust you tonight. Help us to stop looking at ourselves. Situations. What seems to be sight and reality. That's outside of God. Nothing to do with God. The Red Sea opened. The Jordan River opened. Jericho fell. The sun stood still. The sun stood still to Joshua 10. It was amazing what God did, what God can do. He crippled Egypt in a few days. Egypt was destroyed by a stuttering man with the rod of God. We believe God. Mary says, be it unto me, according to your word, be it unto me, say that, be it unto me, be it unto me, be it unto others, according to your word. Thank you, God. Into a pastor's hand. Just lift your hands to God. Really, let's, let's see an atmosphere of faith. As Pastor Stephen to say, faith feels. There's plenty of unbelief feels everywhere. But in here tonight, there's faith feels. Faith of the Son of God. The faith of the Son of God. That's what we live by. Faith for deliverance. Faith for marriages to be reconciled. Faith for illnesses to flee. Faith for healing of the body parts. Faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Stop thinking too much about it. Stop planning how it's going to take place. Just a simple faith in God. Jesus loves you. He wants you to trust Him. Oh, how little faith you have in me. His heart is broken. He weeps because of unbelief. We can dry up the tears of Jesus by simply believing. Don't cry over me. I believe today. He cries over unbelief. But we wipe the tears by faith. And we hold on to Him. Faith in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. The blood on the doorpost. They were delivered. The blood. Faith in the blood. The power of the blood overcame him. Overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. The word of their testimony. They love not their own lives. Come, be prayed for tonight. Trust tonight. Trust, simple trust in God. God heals, God delivers. Thank you, God. अगर आपके पास कोई प्रार्थना है, कोई चंगाई की जरूरत है, तो यहाँ पे पास्टर सब खड़े हैं, उनके पास आ सकते हैं, और वो आपके लिए प्रार्थना करेंगे। he walks in the midst of the candlesticks. He's present. Thank you, Jesus. 
He saw their faith. Mark chapter 2. Saw their faith. Thank you, God. Praise you, Lord. See him high and lifted up. Let's hear the music. Let's hear the music. Praise him. We have a we have faith excitement tonight. Don't be introspective. God leads you come out and be prayed for. Don't, don't think too much about it. Just come. If you're in doubt, come. Just come. If you've never done it before, just come. People love you, they're just going to pray. Jesus. Thank you, God.
Touches God. Spirit to spirit. Break us. Open spirit reveals the authority of God. Show us the life in us. Help us. Minister to us. Thank you, you are with us. And with you always. We will never leave you nor forsake you. We are sealed by the Holy Spirit. We have all the promises of God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's keep praying together. This is the body. 
there's still people that are being prayed for. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. always have an atmosphere of faith. Always. Trusting. Believing. Knowing. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For missions. For healings. For miracles. For money. Provision. For souls to be saved in Mumbai. India. And Asia. Thank you, God. Thank you. Must just see the faith. It's amazing. Just a seed. Pray for children that are not converted. 
touch children, grandchildren, Jesus, neighbors and friends, touch people, God. Bring many new visitors. Bless all the churches, God. Give people wisdom from above. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Faithful is fulfilled and it's finished. That's what it means. Faithful, fulfilled, and finished. Faithful. Faithful. Fulfilled. Finished. Are you ready? How about the church on fire? I, don't know, I just feel like I've had, I, I'm going to wait for this song, so I'm going to, I'm just begging. <laughs> This is a 
a church in San Francisco. Okay, one more time. No, okay. <laughs> break and then be back soon to start a lap, okay? Get it out or you can write it out of your mouth. <laughs> I thought you were going to make it rain. Imagine when they came to the Red Sea and there was the rich multitude of murmurs. So when they came to the Red Sea, there were many people who had to be a good person. Every congregation doesn't need a mixed multitude of murmurs. And every congregation doesn't need a mixed multitude of murmurs. And they come to the Red Sea and they come to the Red Sea and they come to the Red Sea and I love what Moses says, stand still. और मूसा क्या कहता है मुझे बहुत पसंद है आपको कहता है इस बारे में और परमेश्वर का उधार देखना जो मिस्र को तुम आज देख रहे हो उनको आज के बाद कभी नहीं देखोगे वापस कभी नहीं देखोगे इन मिस्र के लोगों को ये अच्छा बात है उनको फिर कभी नहीं देखोगे you're going through. तुम कुछ चीजें गुजर रहे हो. They're going to get stuck in the water. वो खास वो तुम निकल जाओगे और वो मर जाएंगे पानी में. So they had to believe. They had to believe God's man. उनको परमेश्वर के मनुष्य पर भारी विश्वास करना था. And imagine there's some of them when they saw the water up on each side. मुझे लगता है कि कभी उन्होंने पानी को अपनी दोनों तरफ इतना ऊंचा देखा होगा. It could be quite intimidating. काफी डर भी गए होंगे. But they believed and they went through. लेकिन वो विश्वास करे और आगे बढ़ गए निकल गए. I think I said this, and I don't know if I said it here. But I tell you how many quarts of water they had to drink. पता है कितना पानी था उनके पास पीने के लिए? In 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 40 years. 40 वर्षों में. They figured two and a half million people. पर जिस लाख लोगों को अगर देखो. Would need 7.5 billion quarts of water to make it. 7.5 billion quarts पानी लगेगा. They would need 11.2 billion meals. Oh, Arab point two, Arab bojam lagega. And can God provide a table in the wilderness? Can God provide a table in the wilderness? And it really does mock God when we think God can't do it. लोग सोचते हैं कभी 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 परमेश्वर नहीं कर सकता। Can God provide a table in the wilderness? क्या परमेश्वर विराने में एक मेज को तैयार कर सकता है? And fed them and gave them water for forty years and their shoes didn't even wear out. उनको खाना भी दिया और पानी भी पीते रहे और उनके जूते भी खराब नहीं हुए। That's the old test. अरे पुराना नहीं है मैं पुराना नहीं है मैं पुराना नहीं है। That's different. उस तभी का समय। This is now. अभी का समय में। You don't understand. He just अभी नहीं समझा। That wasn't the computer age. वो कंप्यूटर एज में नहीं था। That wasn't you know the technology era. इस 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 उम्र में नहीं हुआ ये। Oh, he's not going to do that. Permission will not be given. He's not going to provide for me. Mujhe nahi, mere liye nahi kar sakta. Little old man. Yeah, purana. He did it for 2.5 million. 25 lakh log likhiya usse. It is. It's a simple. Do I really believe these? You know, are these just nice stories, black letters on white pages? काले अक्षर से लिखी हैं सब इतना जो क्या ये सच में सच्चाई है क्या ये परमेश्वर है और वो ये करता है हमें ये सवाल अपने आप से पूछना होगा कि कितनी आसानी से हम अविश्वास में गिर जाते हैं कुछ होने ही दो और हम सोचते हैं कुछ सब पता है और तुम्हारे पैसों में कुछ गड़बड़ी हो जाती है तीन नौकरी को देते हो। ये मेरे परमेश्वर। ये नौकरी चली गई। अब मैं परमेश्वर ने सिंहासन छोड़ दिया है। और उसके पास कुछ और मिल गया करने के लिए उसको। ये भगवान। मेरे परमेश्वर। मेरे परमेश्वर। यीशु ने वो आवाज दी थी क्रूस से तुम यीशु नहीं हो। मेरे पास ज़्यादा गाने नहीं क्या करूँगा मैं? I thought about that tonight. I I I went back. What time did I go back? About two thirty. Two thirty. आई मुझे आज वापस गया? I had to send seventy to seventy five wires to Africa. You know, like wires. 
पचहत्तर लोगों को उनका सपोर्ट भेजना था मंथली सपोर्ट मंथली सपोर्ट जो था उनको भेजना था पचहत्तर पांच बज गए तब तक मैं करते मुझे तो नाना भी है तभी मैं सैंडविच खा लूंगा नाते नाते प्लेट में चले रहा चवा रहा था फिर नारा था प्रचार करने का तो समय में सोचता ही नहीं मेरे पास सोचा ही नहीं उसके बारे में प्रचार करना था मुझे मुझे पता नहीं हुआ क्या कहा दिया बाद में बिल में पता चलेगा So we believe God. तो हम परमेश्वर पर भरोसा करते हैं। Believe God. हम उस पर विश्वास करते हैं। He smells. It's the fourth day. He's dead. He smells. बदबू आ रही है। चार दिन हो गए। मर गया है ये। If you had been here. अगर तुम यहाँ होते। I know he'll rise again. मैं जानता हूँ वो फिर से पुनरुत्थान होगा। Stinking faith. Enough. Faith that stinks. बदबू वाला विश्वास है। You got theological faith. So. Theological faith. Even the disciples, they don't know what's going to happen. They're like, they're like, they're like the Jews, you know. What's he going to do? And like, it's just him. Just God Himself. Believe it. विश्वास करना था। Isn't it great that when nobody else believes, God believes? सोचो कि जब कोई भी विश्वास नहीं करता, लेकिन परमेश्वर विश्वास करता। When you are, I like that. When you are faithless. He abides faithful. He cannot deny himself. He cannot deny himself. You are faithless. 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 They kept me and let the other two Americans go. मुझे बंदा रखा और बाकी दो अमेरिकों को छोड़ दिया. He said because you are the ringleader. क्योंकि अगर तू उनका लीडर है इसलिए तुझे छोड़ेंगे नहीं. We know about you. तेरे बारे में हम जानते हैं. I said that's cute. मैंने बहुत अच्छी बात है. I said I'm going to start a church in your jail. मैंने कहा मैं इस जेल में कली से शुरू कर दूँगा. And they deported me. उसी टाइम उन्होंने मेरे देश के बाहर निकाल दिया. They stamped my passport. मेरे पासपोर्ट पे छापा मार दिया. Not allowed in Jordan. Jordan में वापस आ नहीं पाएगा. I said I got four passports. मैंने कहा मेरे पास चार पासपोर्ट हैं. Do it tomorrow. Do करना है कर ले. Come back. मैं फिर आऊँगा. If I want, when I want, how I want. जब मैं मर्ज करूँगा, जब भी मेरी मर्जी की तब मैं वापस आऊँगा. जो करना है कर ले. Whatever. But just like God. God is amazing. So. Really, have it. just just trust them. And I know you have your your situations in life. And they they may seem small, they may seem big, but God will meet you there. परिस्थिति आप बड़ी लग सकती हैं, छोटी लग सकती हैं, लेकिन भरोसा करो परमेश्वर उस परिस्थिति में तुमसे मिलेगा. He'll meet you in the boat. तुम्हारे नाव में तुमसे. Ever try to jump out of a boat you don't think is doing so well? It's kind of sinking. कभी कोशिश की है नाव से छलांग मारने की जब पता चला कि नाव ठीक ठाक नहीं है तो. Ever try to do that? कभी किया? Don't admit it. कहना कहना मत किया अगर किया था नाव से चलान मार रहे हैं ये हो रहा नहीं ये काम नहीं हो रहा इसमें लेकिन साधारण विश्वास परमेश्वर में होना बहुत साधारण मैसेज है लेकिन बहुत सोचने का है क्योंकि शैतान इसको नफरत करता है He's unfaithful. शैतान के पास विश्वास है नहीं वो विश्वास और विश्वास योग्य है. In the world today. इसलिए वो संसार में शंका लेके आता है. So, Dr. Stevens lost all of the property. Dr. Stevens की सारी जो property खो गई थी. Thirty acres, about thirty buildings, something like that. तीस एकड़ की जमीन थी, तीस building थे, उसमें सब छुपूट. They just drove away. सिर्फ चले गए गाड़ी, गाड़ी भी और चल निकल पड़े. Everything I've been involved with, the property has been lost. जहाँ जहाँ पर मैं प्रॉपर्टी के इन्वॉल्व हूँ वो सब खत्म हो गया। We have five pieces in Springfield. We sold the property. आज स्प्रिंगफील्ड जहाँ जगह में भी उस पर आज प्रॉपर्टी जो सब बिक गई। We had a nice church building and a school in Ghana and somebody stole that. 
स्कूल की बिल्डिंग थी हमारी घाना में किसी ने चुरा लिया। I went to I went to Uganda and we we put up a building and somebody stole that. Uganda के वहाँ पे बिल्डिंग तैयार की वो भी किसी ने चुरा ली। I said follow me and you'll be a, a theft of land. मेरे पीछे चलो और तुम्हारी सारी प्रॉपर्टी चली जाएगी। I don't know what God I told people that watch out you know. मैं लोगों का संभालो मेरे साथ। No idea what can happen. पता नहीं मेरे संग क्या हो जाएगा। So yeah you know you're okay in Nepal I was only there for a couple days. Nepal में कुछ नहीं होगा। But uh, just like have this faith in God. Um, Genesis 26, 25. Interesting. His altar, Vedi. tent well. Altar, Vedi. build an altar, एक वेदी तैयार करो। Pitch a tent. बंबू खड़ा करो। Dig a well. What does, it, what does that mean? इसका मतलब क्या है? Is your job first? तुम्हारा काम पहले? Or is the altar first? या आराधना पहले? Is your family first? काम पहले, परिवार पहले? Altar first. कि वेदी पहले? Altar. वेदी? Then the tent. That's the church and your family. फिर जब वो कलिसिया है जैसे मानो फिर बंबू या तुम्हारे परिवार और कलिसिया? Then your business. फिर कुआं खोदने हैं तुम्हारा काम. Well, a lot of people in Christianity got it reversed. On Christianity, we learn a reverse card. It's well, altar, tent. Then we do, then tambu. Or it's tent, well, altar. There's a lot of combinations that I want to go through. अलग अलग combination किए हैं। But by faith, I I look to God. लेकिन विश्वास के द्वारा मैं परमेश्वर को देखता हूँ। I believe God's responsible to take care of my family as long as I look towards Him. मैं मानता हूँ कि जब तक मैं परमेश्वर के ऊपर नजरें लगाए रखा हूँ परमेश्वर मेरे परिवार को संभालेगा। We're still doing okay. हम अभी भी ठीक कर रहे हैं। Are you with me? समझे? Yeah, many people they get like their prayer life is all about themselves. इतने लोग भी प्रार्थना का जीवन उनके बारे में मुझे चाहिए मुझे चाहिए मुझे चाहिए मुझे चाहिए। I know you have needs, but is that all you talk about? मुझे पता है तुम्हारी जरूरतें लेकिन क्या सारा वो तुझके लिए क्या करोगे? I got a great verse एक अच्छी पंक्ति है तुम्हारे लिए। Some people will like it। कुछ लोगों को पसंद आएगी। Some people will not। कुछ लोगों को पसंद नहीं आने वाली। The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want। परमेश्वर मेरा चरवाह है, मुझे किसी चीज की जरूरत नहीं है। I have nothing। कोई भी चीज की जरूरत नहीं। Imagine, imagine that। सोचो। When I went to Baltimore, when we were in Baltimore, I was working in the same office with Pastor Shallard. Baltimore में जो था तो Pastor Shallard के संग वही ऑफिस में मैं काम कर रहा था। Our office was as big as that room I was with the bed in it। वो इस ड्रीम र� we shared one phone. एक फोन हम दोनों के बीच में था। That was fun. मजा आता था। I use the phone. I use the phone. I use the phone. I use the phone. We just would take calls back and forth. And one day, Pastor Stevens came. एक दिन Pastor Stevens आए। He said, "Could you guys come to my office?" क्या तुम दोनों मेरे ऑफिस आओगे जरा? He said, "How do both of you exist on a hundred dollars a month?" कि तुम दोनों छह हजार रुपए पे कैसे अपना जीवन जी लेते हो? I said rather well actually. मैं बड़े अच्छे से जी लेता हूँ। I'd like you to cut my salary in half. मैं चाहता हूँ कि अगर तुम मेरी तनख्वाह और भी कम कर दो। I think we're overpaid. मुझे लगता है तुम मुझे ज़्यादा दे रहे हो। Should be like ten bucks a week is fine. शायद तो मुझे कल ही ढाई हजार दो के महीने का तो भी चलेगा। He says you're crazy. मेरा तो पागल हो गया। I said you got it. मैंने कहा हाँ सही बोल रहे हो। मेरी पत्नी काम करती थी और मुझे कलिसा से पैसे नहीं चाहिए थे। Give it to somebody who yeah who needs it or whatever. किसी और को दे देना। And I'm for paying people a salary. और लोगों को मैं तनख्वाह देता था। And that's important. और ये जरूरी है। They don't have to be thinking about their leaders. But you know, faith. My wife said to me, I'm gonna work so you can do what you want. मेरी पत्नी ने मुझसे कहा कि मैं नौकरी करूँ नहीं ताकि तुम जो कुछ जो चाहिए तुम कर सको। She worked for a black and decker. Black or Decker, she works for a big insurance company. She's very gifted. But big insurance companies for the work. She tells me even she loves the Bible school. She says, but I, I enjoy being in the world working because I got to evangelize a lot. बोलती मुझे काम करना पसंद है क्योंकि मैं जाती हूँ तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा बात कर सकती हूँ. You know, everybody wants to work in a church. सबको चर्च में ही काम करना होता है. Really? I think it's great to have unsafe some. I think everybody ought to have like one or two unsafe friends that you're talking to all the time. मैं मानता हूँ कि हर एक का पास एक या दो अविश्वासी दोस्त होने चाहिए जिनसे आप अच्छे तरह से बात कर सकें। I don't mean that। ये नहीं कि तुम उनसे इन्फ्लुएंस हो जाओ। Having an un some unsafe people like the guy I buy a gas at the same place। और यार सी जैसे वो जिस पेट्रोल पंप में जब मैं जाके पेट्रोल भरता हूँ तो वो जो वहाँ पे आती है। I go to a certain store to get my bubble gum। 
I like the, you know, the big pieces, bubble yum. I blow bubble. I mean, I just blow bubbles all day long. It doesn't, it doesn't, it shouldn't be doing, you, you can't be doing that. You come in the office and you're blowing bubbles. Office <laughs> something to do, I don't know. My mind occupied. One, one, one day these three businessmen came into my office. Three businessmen in my office. They had, you know, they had like the ties and all that. They were, they were dressed to the hills. They had more money on their body than I had in a bank account. <laughs> So they opened the they knock and they opened the door. They said, what's going on here? My granddaughter had her toys all over the office. They were everywhere. So, you know, uh, what's that erector set thing? What are they called? Legos. 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 She had Legos everywhere. Legos. She, had her, she had her monkey, this pet monkey she had. It's a monkey doll. And I said, I think you got to come back. I said, well, we got something important to talk about. I said, well, I have something important to talk about. I said, well, I have something important to talk about. She's here right now. Give me 20 minutes. They look at you like you're just not sophisticated. You're just like, you're just, what do you, you know? Yeah, I like, you know when you have kids and you have grandchildren, it like really like brings you to a level, like, you know? But you are both able to. Yeah, it's, good. it's good for us, you know what I mean? She said, uh, you're going to preach tonight. She said, yeah. She said, well, would you preach to me first? I want to get the message first. Call me up and tell me what you're going to preach about. It's so cute, isn't it? I mean, it's not yeah. My wife says, you know what, you're spoiling the daylights on that. My wife says, you know what, you're spoiling the daylights on that. What do you do, right? Yeah. What are you going to do, right? I don't care. Whatever. She said, what are you bringing? Something from China, something from India, something from Nepal. Nepal, China, and Bharat, everything, 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 everything. Anyway, that's the end of that part. That's not faith. It's faith, but it's not. It's faith. faith to have children. There's a question here? Is there, is there, oh, look at this! God has provided in the wilderness of Mumbai, Coca-Cola, dietetic. Keep the weight down and give you cancer. Diet will get you up, but you will get cancer. Another question, can I say one thing? You know why I think there's no cancer in Africa? Do you know why there's no cancer in Africa? Why there's no cancer in Africa? Because they're always in the sun. Because they're always in the sun. They're in vitamin C. They say 80% of the people with cancer in America lack vitamin C. It's very interesting. 80% of the people with cancer in America have no vitamin C in their body. I think it's also on the inside of bottled water. And I think it's also on the inside of bottled water. I drink it right out of the tap. 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 Put your mouth on the thing. Okay, I'm finished. You? It's you? <laughs> no, you know, tomorrow is the marriage. <laughs> right? So just ask you so the last, last, question, last, question, last, last single question tonight. Um, this is the question. Like you spoke about faith fields. And about what? A faith field. Faith, faith atmosphere, yeah. Faith yeah, field. so I remember Pastor Stevens talking about, like, he did a season of messages on faith field. Can you share more? He did a series on it, actually. Vishwas ka vatavaran ke upar Dr. Stevens ne ek series message prashar kiya tha. So can you shed more light on the faith field? Shed light, that's always, yeah. I mean, it's like a body life. Galicia me jo jiva ni hamara. Is a source of faith. Second Peter one one. Dusra patras ek ek. First Thessalonians three eight. Philip Thessalonians three eight. Romans one eleven. Romeo ka ek yara. I want to have the mutual faith of you and me. So in the church, in the church, we have an atmosphere of faith. हमारे पास एक वातावरण है विश्वास का. If you got a pack of doubters and unbelievers. अगर एक झुंड आ जाए जो अविश्वास करते हैं और भरोसा नहीं करते. सवाल पूछने का मिशन. It can actually hinder the faith of a congregation. तो कलिसिया के अंदर जो विश्वास है उसपे रुकावट आ सकती है. So I believe that God wants an atmosphere of faith in a ministry. 
तो मैं विश्वास करता हूँ कि परमेश्वर चाहता है कि एक विश्वास का वातावरण कलिसे में बना रहे। परमेश्वर को इस शब्द करने वाले नहीं चाहिए। ऐसा कैसे होगा? By the way, especially in leadership, you get somebody. में you get somebody on the board of trustees and the elders that has no faith. You know what? It's just like a war. और अगर बोर्ड का ऐसा कोई आ जाए तो जिसके अंदर विश्वास नहीं है तो वहाँ पे लड़ाइयाँ होती रहेंगी। That's dangerous. और वो खतरनाक है। That's dangerous. That's walking by sight. You have to. We do need. We do need certain types of people to kind of like be there to tell us what this is what's going on. You know. हमारे पास दो घोड़ा जरूरी है जो मैं बताते हैं कि ये सब चाहिए। I think we should have a soccer field in front of the gym, a brand new soccer field. मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि वहाँ पे जहाँ पे हमारे हमारे जिम के सामने एक फुटबॉल के लिए खेल ग्राउंड होना चाहिए। So that's going to cost like all this money. तो इतना सारा पैसा खर्चा होने वाला है। Oh, you mean like half of what the gym cost? तो जब जिम का जो पैसा उसमें तो उससे आधा लगेगा। And God raised all that money without even like with very little from the somebody gave a big gift. किसी ने एक भेंट दे दी थी उसके वजह से हुआ। What about faith? विश्वास का क्या होगा? We trust God to do that. क्या तुम भरोसा करते हो परमेश्वर पर? Plus we get rid of the Nigerian church's parking, which is great. Plus we get rid of the Nigerian church's parking, which is great. They take one third of our parking. I'd like them to vacate. वो हमारी पार्किंग का एक तिहाई हिस्सा लेते हैं और मैं चाहता हूं कि वो वहां से हट जाएं। We ask the pastor one time, are you naming and claiming our property? मैं ना कि पास्टर को जब कि तू नाम ले रहा कि ये प्रॉपर्टी तेरी हो जाए। I know what's going on. मुझे पता है क्या हो रहा है। और डॉक्टर स्टीवेंस का एक अद्भुत तरीका था जिससे वो उस विश्वास को बनाए रखते थे कलिसिया में। So it really is something that leadership can promote. तो ये अगवाई है ये इसको सिखा सकते हैं। You can preach about it. और इसके लिए प्रचार कर सकते हैं। You can focus on it. उसपे ध्यान दे सकते हैं। and God will do it. और परमेश्वर करेगा उस कार्य को। I really believe that. मैं विश्वास करता हूँ इस बात। When we started the church in Ghana, जब घाना में कली से शुरुआत की, we had three people. तीन लोग थे। One church went went from one church. एक कली से आए हम। Two hundred and forty six of them. दो सौ छियालीस कली से आए हम। In twenty five countries. पच्चीस देशों में। That's not people. That's God. ये लोग नहीं हैं ये परमेश्वर का काम है। God does that. परमेश्वर करता है ये काम। God does that. परमेश्वर करता है ये काम। It's incredible. We have a, we, we can't, can we show them that phone now? Huh? Huh? Just right now, I feel like showing them now. Uh, I want to show you. We, and, and the Ghanaians themselves built this building. We didn't give one dollar. They made bricks with brick makers. They made, they, they built the building with their, like their hands. अपने हाथों से पूरी बिल्डिंग का निर्माण किया उन्होंने। Where's it gonna play behind me? Two whole minutes? This is the church on fire. Just pour water around it. No, no, this. I'm just joking. They're awesome. But um, it's a very poor place. It's like a. बहुत गरीब जगह है। Somebody said to me here. They said you gotta come and see the slums. I said you know, I lived in one. किसी ने मुझे यहाँ पे कहा आओ ना। No electricity. No sewers. जहाँ पे मैं रहता था वहाँ पे बिजली भी नहीं था, गटर भी नहीं था, पानी भी नहीं था। हाँ, you call that Hollywood? क्या Hollywood के अंदर? Don't tell me about slums. I know what they're all about. Slums के बारे में मुझे मत बोलो, मुझे मालूम है। We have a church of one thousand people in the worst place in Ghana. हमारे हमारे कलीसिया गाना के सबसे बेकार जगह में इतना लोगों का। It was amazing. And you'll see that you'll see in a minute where about three or four miles out where people can get to. We started this project maybe 10 years ago. This project is slow. And people have been giving. And it's really like, it's, it's incredible what God is doing. Oh, I hope we don't lose it. Yeah, you lose it badly too, so. I think it's working hard to make this work. Do we have to move? We have to move, right? You're getting a little bossy. <laughs> Just joking. Can't wait to go home and eat my peanut butter sandwich. I got three of them left. They, you know what my, my you know what my midnight meal will be? Peanut butter and jelly and Snickers. Horrible, isn't it? I have some. I have some 
old egg fried rice. Purana egg fried rice, you can't make it. It's good though. I tried to eat it today, but I was eating it with a can opener because I didn't have a spoon. So I put the can opener in and the rice. I was having a good time actually. I'm just trying to make it work. Really. Yeah, They don't fit, I'm sorry. They don't fit. I can see them. <laughs> this is this is a place called the Shama. Where in 1986 I went. 1986 uh, 31 years ago. And uh, we have we started the work there. Hey, you are getting lost. Awesome. Right. Oh, oh! In the church. Go ahead. Stage, they go to stage. You know, not going to be so loud, though. It is also a lot of karma. Watch for a calm karma. You know, who did stage when I was at a pastor's stage for a pretty little bit of you. Person slum. Right, right in the middle, 
There's this Greater Grace Church. Bible school, Bible school. A Christian school of 175 kids. Uh, we have orphans. Orphans hai. And it's amazing. Aur hai us church building ke. But they did it. They believe God. Unhone Parmeshwar ke bharosa ke unhone khud banaya usse. Who could have imagined that? I mean, I didn't. I'm like, wow. You really, you really gonna build something like this? So I can't help you financially. God will do it. God will do it. And a lot of a lot of the Ghanaian business people just started to they gave. People sold lands and gave the church. Uh, I've got a little not many people know this, but I got this little house I'm, I'm finishing in Ghana. It's with, it's with Pastor Ben, the man you saw me right next to. Pastor Ben gets I, I added a bathroom, living room, bedroom, uh, kitchen onto his house. I can use it when I go there. My son goes sometimes for a month, two months. And uh, it saves hotel bills. What you're doing, you know? So. Yeah, I mean, in my mind, I'd love to just like move there. Very much, and, really 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 more. and uh, I don't think that's going to happen. It's good to have a place in there. So faith. And if if you look and if you see in these different countries, Togo has been a dictatorship for 35 years. And uh, it's the poorest country in Africa. Africa ka sabse garib desh hai. And that, that ministry that's in Togo, Aur jo seva ka Togo mein hai, has planted 18 churches in Burkina Faso. Usne ki di Faso. 36 churches in the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast mein. Benin, Benin mein. 22 churches in Togo. It's unbelievable what they've done. We had a, we had a convention. This was a, this is a funny story. Anybody want to hear a funny story? Okay. Faith. This is faith. Pastor Scheller is doing the convention in Togo. We had 3,000 people come. It was like a soccer field of people. You just there was no end to it. And so him and I were looking to stay in this hotel very close to the church, like about you can walk in five minutes. So we go there. The guy says, I'm not renting any of my hotel rooms to Christians. I'm a Muslim. I don't like Christians. So we're fine. You know, they're going to insult us. I mean, no. You don't want to rent a room, just be quiet. And, no, no, no. He, was, he was just an insulting person. So I went to the church. We got another hotel. And uh, somebody in the church heard about it. Uh, two days later, I drove by the hotel. It wasn't there. It was bulldozed. The general of the army is in the church. He told them they were in violation of a code being too close to the street. He said, you have to do that. We take care of you people. I said, nobody's going to insult you like that. One time I got, I, somebody broke into my room in the hotel. You know what happened? The army surrounded the hotel. And they say nobody leaves. These are guests in the world. And then they took soldiers and brought each worker to their home to search their house. They love us. They, they give us buses for free. To we got the president's press secretary in the church. President ka jo press secretary hai wo hamare kalisya mein. It's incredible. Socho. Like faith. Vishwas. In God. Parmeshwar mein. It's amazing what God has done. I I was I didn't I didn't know you're supposed to have like visas. Mujhe nahi pata tha ki sab jagah jaane ke liye visa lagta hai. I I was like overstayed by two years. Do saal adhik mein reh chuka tha us desh mein. 
I just changed passports. <laughs> so they, they said, they called me and they said, you're leaving. And one of our pastors married the daughter of the defense minister of the country. He heard about my case. He came to my house. He said, give me your passport. Said, For what? He said, just give me your passport. I was made like a citizen. There's no way he's kicking you out. He's the second guy under the president. President ke baad uska number aata hai dusra number ka vishwas rakh parmeshwar mein really god trust god i mean i i didn't really know mujhe pata bhi nahi tha you have to keep getting these things renewed ki ye visa bar bar renew karna padta hai so go be here you know that you're not supposed to be here really i used to cross borders through the jungle forget about you know in the breeze
मैं एक्सपर्ट हूँ रॉक एंड रोल में I I I followed the, I was in England and I followed the Rolling Stones and Beatles. I traveled around Rolling Stones or Beatles with them. I, I traveled around with that group. Unke sang mein ghuma hu. One day I saw on the stage of the Rolling Stones a pentangle, the sign of Satan. और रोलिंग स्टोन के स्टेज के ऊपर मैंने एक दिन देखा शैतान का निशान आई रियलाइज दैट दे वर मोर देन जस्ट अ रॉक बैंड तो मैं समझ गया ये रॉक बैंड से ज्यादा है दे वर इंस्पायर्ड बाय अनदर किंगडम किसी और राज्य से उनको प्रेरणा मिली यू से व्हाट बट देयर्स अदर वंस तुम कहोगे दूसरों के बारे में क्या है व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज मैं कह रहा हूं ये हूं इफ म्यूजिक डजंट टच माय सोल अगर म्यूजिक मेरे प्राणों को छूता है आई आई डोंट वॉक अराउंड टेलिंग पीपल व्हाट टू लिसन टू दैट शुड मैं लोगों को नहीं कहता हूं कि उनको क्या सुनना है I may not listen to something because I don't believe it's spiritual. You must come to your own conclusions, all right? And some habits fall hard. Some some habits don't go easy. Or कोई आदत अच्छी नहीं होती है. But I I'm just saying like it's it's kind of like is does it make me God conscious? क्या वो music मुझे परमेश्वर का ध्यान दिलाता है? And not just music but anything. कोई भी चीज. I could play sports and it could make me self-conscious. It could make me uh, soul-conscious, but not God-conscious. I can play sports and think about my own thoughts, about my prayers. So I don't want to just isolate that, but I think, uh, and even some Christian rock can be very strange. Or Christian rock music, which is also very different. They use the name Jesus, but there's a there's a driving to it. The name Jesus is there, but behind it, there's something else. And it's, it's not touching the spirit. वो आत्मा को छूरा नहीं है। We are a three-part being. We are spirit, soul, and body. हम आत्मा, प्राण और शरीर हैं। And if I'm born again, my spirit is connected to the Holy Spirit. और अगर मैं उधार पाता हूँ, तो मेरी आत्मा पवित्र आत्मा से जुड़ जाती है। Is what they're saying glorifying God? और वो जो कह रहे हैं क्या परमेश्वर को महिमा दे रहा है? God. कि वो परमेश्वर को नीचा दिखा रहा है। And maybe some people don't care about that. That's why. उसे लोगों से कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता करें मुझे कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता उससे. Oh, is is does the music glorify God? क्या वो म्यूजिक परमेश्वर की महिमा कर रहा है? That's all. बस. So I don't I don't uh, I don't dislike people. I I worked in a prison where I heard rock music 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I had to live in that. मैं जेल में काम करता था जहाँ पे 24 घंटे रॉक म्यूजिक चलता था. Did I answer your question? Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, one more thing that uh, this that happens. To that wasn't out of the box. It was right in the box. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, one more thing. This happens with me oftenly. Uh, uh, probably in youth, uh, people say that if a guy is studying at, in his room, he is not going to the church on Sundays, but he is studying in the room and he is reading by Bible personally and he is uh, doing prayers and all. It's not like. Uh, parents force children to go to church. So, like, I wanted to know, is uh, going to church is more important or a connection with Jesus is more important, whether it's in church or it's in home? So he's saying sometimes it can be that a, a teenager is, a youth is in his house and in the room studying the scriptures and not going to church and he, Right. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. All the epistles were written to churches. Sari jo kitabe likhi hai Bible mein, wo kalisa ko likhi hai. The Bible talks about a church. Bible kalisa ke baare mein baat karta hai. It doesn't say the church in your own heart. Ye nahi karta kalisa tere dil mein. It says we're together. Usne kaha hum sab saath mein. If you read Romans was to a church. Romeo ko likha hai, kalisa ko hai. Har ek chiz kalisa ko likha hai. Philippians was to a church. Philippians kalisa ko likha hai. Ephesians was to the seven churches. Ephesians ko saath kalisa ko tha. Jesus said, I will build my church. Yeshu ne kaha, main apna kalisa banaunga. So I can become somebody that just is in my room. I, I can be born. I don't need to be uh, in church to be born again. Mujhe kalisa mein hona zaruri hai uthar paane ke liye. But uh, when you were born, did somebody bring you home from the hospital? Jab tum paida hoye, to koi tumhe ghar laaya tha hospital se? Huh? Yeah, obviously. Why didn't they just leave you there? They brought you home so you can grow in the home. And church is for people to grow. Sad to say, sir, there's many churches that really damage people. 
कई कलिसिया हैं जो लोगों को कमीनाया देते हैं कंट्रोल पीपल उनको कंट्रोल करते हैं चलो हाउ टू लिव व्हाट टू लिव व्हाट टू ईट व्हाट टू ड्रिंक कैसे चलना है कैसे क्या ना खा क्या खाना है पीपल गेट बैड टेस्ट इन देयर माउथ तो इसलिए शायद लोगों के मन में विचार है क्यों जाऊं मैं बट इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट यू इंटरप्रेट एज अ चर्च लेकिन तुम कलिसिया के बारे में तुम क्या सोचते हो आई हेट इट चर्च मैं नफरत करता था कलिसिया चर्च आई वेंट टू वाज लाइक सो Was horrible. Was not good. Yeah, just Kali Sia. So when you said church, said church to me, I thought I go. You know what? I don't want to talk to you. Who is that? Kali Sia. Just like I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. But I, I, then I met people that really they cared. Then I met people that really they cared. And they, I made, they were friends to me. मेरे दोस्त बने. And I began to understand and be taught the Bible. और मेरे Bible बात करनी शुरू की. So. Of course, you don't need to go to church to be saved, but to grow, you need to be. Learning के लिए कली से जाना जरूरी है. To know your purpose. ताकि उनका मकसद समझ सकूँ. To be developed. To be a part of the church. कली से गैसा बन सकूँ. We are the, the church is the body of Christ. कली से जो है परमेश्वर का देह. But because the way churches have handled themselves. ये कभी-कभी कली से अपने आप को ठीक से संभालते नहीं हैं. Many people do not go to church. लोग जाता नहीं हैं वहाँ पे. And it's easier to stay in your house and watch it on the internet or something. बहुत आसान है अपने घर में बैठ के इंटरनेट पे देखना. That is easy. You don't have to participate. You don't have to breathe uh, the air that other people are breathing. Uh, whatever you know, you don't have to have any kind of relationship with anybody. It's an like, easy way out. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible. The Bible is God's word. Bible talks about church all the time. Bible always talks about church. Okay, who's next? Thank you. Okay, sir. Good questions. Thank you for good questions. And the, the church on fire was a, was an aki, it was just spiritual, right? We are the church on fire. Okay, yes. मैं उदय से बोलते हूँ प्रदीप सर ट्रांसलेस करेगा विश्वास मुझे सुखिष्टों के थारे विश्वास हो करे I believe in Jesus सुखिष्टों सुस्तों का रिपोर्ट में सुस्तों का रिपोर्ट में Jesus is healer. Jesus is the healer, and and I believe that. And he is unchanging God. And he is the healer completely, I believe. In many places, we prayed and uh, to many sick people, and they are healed. But uh, they they are not like uh, staying in faith. They don't stay in faith for a long time. So the, your direct, uh, the question is that why that is? Sometimes you pray for people, they get healed, but they don't come back to church. Yes. Why does that happen? Yeah. Okay. I want to know that what kind of belief that is, what kind of faith that is. Well, first of all, if they're only coming to church to either number one get healed physically, अगर वो सिर्फ कली से इसलिए आ रहे ताकि उनको चंगाई मिले, number two get some kind of a blessing, prosperity, दूसरी कुछ तरीके का आशीष मिले, then they're not coming to church to get to know God. तो वो कली से आप परमेश्वर को जानने के लिए नहीं आ रहे हैं. So they are very thankful that they maybe you prayed for them and they did get healed. तो शायद वो धन्यवाद देंगे कि आपने प्रार्थना की उनको चंगाई मिली. But the question is, is do they want God? सवाल ये क्या उनको परमेश्वर चाहिए? Do they want God? क्या उनको परमेश्वर चाहिए? You know, I meet drug addicts all the time. मैं drug addicts को मिलता रहता हूँ कई बार. They want God to deliver them from drugs, but they don't want God. उनको चाहते हैं कि परमेश्वर उनको उस आदत से छुड़ाए, लेकिन परमेश्वर नहीं चाहिए. They want the miracle to be off of drugs, but they don't want Jesus Christ. वो सिर्फ चमत्कार चाहते हैं कि उनको छुड़ाए मिले, लेकिन यीशु नहीं चाहिए. I don't know the motives in the heart of people. तो लोगों के दिल में उनका मकसद क्या हम नहीं जानते. And maybe you cannot either. और आप भी शायद नहीं जानते होंगे. So they have a a faith. Based on maybe circumstances, situation, faith. चीजों के लिए होगा. 
or do they really have a faith in God? लेकिन क्या परमेश्वर में सच्चा विश्वास है बढ़ने के लिए पता नहीं I need to present to people the person of Christ. लोगों को मुझे मुझे दर्शाना है यीशु मसीह. Not just aspects of what he does. लेकिन ये नहीं कि यीशु मसीह क्या करता है. Who he is. लेकिन यीशु मसीह कौन है. So that people will be drawn to him. ताकि उसकी ओर वो लोग आएं. He said, if I be lifted up. यीशु ने कहा अगर मुझे ऊंचा उठाओ. I will draw all men. तो मैं मनुष्यों को अपनी ओर कीजूँगा. He didn't say if. What I do be lifted up. उसने ये नहीं कहा जो मैं करता हूँ उसको ऊंचा उठाओ. I'll draw all men to me. तो मैं लोगों को कीजूँगा. He said if I be lifted up. उसने कहा अगर यीशु को ऊंचा उठाओ. I'll draw all men to me. तो मैं लोगों को अपने और कीज के लाऊँगा. I have a question. You do? Yeah. Is that a church? Can you comment on discernment? I mean, on the one hand, we're not supposed to be judgmental on people, and yet at the same time, we always need to be like discerning. So you can just yeah, discern. Well, the interesting thing is both words are the same in the Greek language. Anakrino, anakrisis, diakrino, diakrisis. They're both exactly the same. Judgment alone or discernment, both of the Yunani shabd are almost same here. But with Discernment that comes from God. There is love for the person. पहचान जो परमेश्वर से आती है लोग मनुष्य के लिए उसके प्रेम होता है. Spirit. पवित्र आत्मा की सेवकाई होती है. So discern means to distinguish what is of God and what is not of God. Discernment का मतलब ये है ये पहचानना क्या परमेश्वर की ओर से है और क्या परमेश्वर की ओर से नहीं है. When you judge somebody, you're critically analyzing them. जब तुम इसी को judgement कर रहे हो तो तुम उसके परिपरिक परा कर रहे हो उसको. Their character. उसके चरित्र को परा कर God loves me, but may hate what I do. परमेश्वर मुझसे प्रेम करता है, लेकिन जो मैं करता हूँ, उसे नफरत कर सकता है। So discerning means I distinguish. Paul follows in Acts 16. प्रियो काम 16 में This woman is following him. एक स्त्री उसके पीछे चल रही है। She's not saying anything that sounds so bad. ऐसा कुछ बुरा नहीं बोलती है वो उसके। These are the sons. ये बेटे हैं। of the Most High God. They show unto you the way of salvation. वो तुम्हें उधार का रास्ता दिखाएंगे। He says, come out of her. और वो उस औरत को कहता है दुष्टात्मा भारा। He could discern the demon. वो समझ गया था कि उसके अंदर दुष्टात्मा है। When Philip was in Samaria, he was working closely with Simon the sorcerer. Philipus जब समेरिया में था तो सीमा जो चाहो। Philip was a deacon. Philip deacon था। He wasn't a leader. अगवा नहीं था। When Peter came up, जब पत्रस आया, he said to Simon, उसने सीमा से कहा, You are in wickedness and evil. तू बुराई में और कटकुटीलता में है। Philip didn't discern it. Philip नहीं समझा था। Peter discernment. So he, so discernment is very important. Discernment बहुत जरूरी है। क्या परमेश्वर से क्या परमेश्वर से नहीं है? To distinguish, I have to distinguish what God would have me to preach about, not just what I studied, but I want to discern what the body, like what to what to speak about. Like मुझे समझना चाहिए कि परमेश्वर क्या चाहता कि मैं कलिसिया से बात करूँ। जो मैंने पढ़ा है वो नहीं, लेकिन परमेश्वर क्या चाहता कलिसिया से सुनाने के लिए? To distinguish. ये समझना not judge. न्याय नहीं करना है। Look at that little girl. She's cute. I discern she's cute. Okay? Yeah. First Corinthians two fourteen to sixteen. पहला कोरिंथियन दो चौदह से सोला। You discern. आत्मा से तुम समझ जाओगे परखना। Hebrews five eleven. इब्राहिम का पांच क्या रहा? You have the word. Strong meat belongs to them of full age who, by reason of use, have their senses exercised to discern. Both good and evil. The word gives you discernment. तो परमेश्वर का वचन तुम्हें समझाएगा कि क्या परमेश्वर से क्या नहीं है। I kind of wonder that people that are not spirit filled and don't know the Bible, like, can they even have any discernment at all? जो पवित्र आत्मा से भरपाई नहीं पाए हुए हैं और जो बाइबल पढ़ते नहीं वो समझ नहीं पाएंगे क्या परमेश्वर से। And when we make decisions as pastors or as Christians as leaders, जब हम निर्णय लेते हैं आगे होने के नाते, you have to discern. आप आपको समझना है परख है। Paul tried to go to Phrygia and Bithynia, and the spirit stopped him. Paul was trying to go to Phrygia and Bithynia, but the spirit stopped him. Peter went to those two places. Where did he go? Wrong man. Wrong time. Wrong time. Peter was right man. Seven years later, right time. Seven years later, right time. Seven years later, right time. So distinguishing. So distinguishing. So distinguishing. What is the voice of God? The permission of God is what he is saying. Pastor Stevens told me you. One time, I had a team going to South Africa. South Africa, a team going to South Africa. Five pastors, 
पांच पास्टर 14 पीपल ऑल टुगेदर चौदह लोग साथ में I said, you don't seem very happy about this move. मैंने उसको कहा, मुझे नहीं लगता आप खुश हो मैं जो कर रहा हूँ। I want to, I want to see God do what He did in the West and in the East and the South. मैं देखना चाहता हूँ कि परमेश्वर ने जो उत्तर में क्या दक्षिण किया। I said, Pastor, tell me what you really think. कि पास्टर मुझे बताओ तुम सच में क्या सोच रहे हो? He said, you should never plant the church again. कि तुम वापस कोई कलिसा की स्थापना नहीं करोगे। I wasn't real happy about that. मैं खुश नहीं था उन्हें ज मैं गुस्से में घर गया। मैं पता है पास्टर सीओ से क्या कहा मुझसे? और मैंने उससे कहा। और उसने मुझसे कहा मेरी पत्नी ने? वो सही बोल रहा है। मैंने कहा फिर आत्मिक पिता और मेरी पत्नी दोनों मेरे विरुद्ध हो गए। फिर उसने मुझसे कहा। जो तेरी भेंट है उसको दुबिया कर रहा है। travel to churches। कलीसियों में जाके सफर करो। So I prayed about it and God showed me. He was right. मैंने प्रार्थना की और परमेश्वर ने दिखाया कि डॉक्टर सिंह बोले तो सही है। It wasn't for me to be in one location. एक जगह में रहना काम अच्छा नहीं है। Just there. So I had to discern that. तो मुझे वो समझ परखने की जरूरत थी उस समय में। You know, and that's where leadership discerns. You say you want to go plant the church. I I may discern that you're not a leader. अगर आप कहो कि मुझे कोई कोई assistant अगर आप कहो मुझे कलिसी जाके स्टॉप करना है। You may be an evangelist. You need to go with a pastor. अब इवेंजल मैं कहूँगा कि शायद अब इवेंजल स्टॉप हो किसी पास्टर के दुनिया ना यार मैं एक असिस्टेंट हूँ। The sermon is vital. लेकिन ये परख ना जानना कि क्या परमेश्वर से बहुत जरूरी है। You find the wrong people in the wrong place or the wrong people in the right place. It can be a mess. अगर गलत समय में गलत पुरुष या गलत जगह पर गलत पुरुष जब वो अगवाई करता है उसके आदिन मंत्र तो परमेश्वर प्रोवाइड करता है। God leads, He provides। परमेश्वर अगवाई करता है और जहाँ पे वो अगवाई करता है वहाँ पे प्रोवाइड करता है। If you lead, then get your own provision। अगर तुम अपनी खुद की अगवाई करोगे तो खुद के लिए अपने बंदबस्त कर लो। I've never had a problem. I don't even pray about money. मैं तो पैसे के लिए प्रार्थना भी नहीं करता। I feel when I do, I'm insulting God. जब मैं सो मैं सोचता हूँ मैं प मैंने कहा मेरे अपनी इच्छा दे और मुझे पता है जब तेरी इच्छा होगी तो उसको तो प्रोवाइड करेगा मुझे पांच सौ रुपए चाहिए मेरे मुंह से निकलती नहीं हो बातें मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ गलत है मैं मेरी बात कर रहा हूँ मैं उसके बारे में सोचता भी हूँ मेरी परमिशन इच्छा चाहिए जहाँ उसकी इच्छा होगी वहाँ पे मेरी जरूरत भी पूरी होगी I can pray for you to get money if you want. I don't have a problem with that. मैं प्रार्थना कर सकता हूँ ताकि तुमको पैसा मिले उसमें मुझे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है। He's smiling, huh? These new pair of glasses or something? Just joking. Well, I'll pray for Pastor Melvin. He needs it. He really needs it. I'm just joking. I'm having fun, right, Pastor Bina? It's okay to have fun in church. Is it okay to have fun? Warbrand said one time, uh, uh, I'm going to preach right through lunch because I never had lunch for 17 years. Richard Umar said that I would like to eat in the middle of the meal. They eat here? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. 9.15 is fine. See you tomorrow. Are you coming tomorrow? Are you coming This is a church on fire. Okay. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.